Hello, this is Cycle 2, Week 17 Science, Experiment 177 in Van Cleve's book, Snap. This demonstration is awesome. <laughs> this is so cool. This is a demonstration of Newton's first law of motion. This is a demonstration of the principle of inertia. Inertia, uh, as budding scientists, we all know, inertia uh, is the principle that states that objects in motion tend to remain in motion. Objects at rest tend to remain at rest. Um, and this is a, a classically done um, experiment. Before we, we look at this particular demonstration, um, I want to, uh, to just talk about what we have. So I've gotten, I've obtained three objects. So this is a, a can of a and root beer, unopened. This, some of you may or may not recognize, these are two jar lids that have been attached together. This is a box of Kleenex and a piece of paper. This is just a regular old eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. I've cut approximately a four inch strip in it. The other thing that I need in order to set up this demonstration is a, a flat surface, a table that I can stand next to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a system. I have it, the system will be composed of my piece of paper and my A&W uh, root beer can, again, unopened. So I'm going to set the system up here and now I'm going to act upon the system. The system is at rest. I'm going to act upon the system. I'm going to apply force. I'm going to take this piece of paper and I'm going to pull on the piece of paper. I'm going to apply force in that direction. The principle of inertia states that the system at rest will remain at rest. It will tend to remain at rest. So even though this is one system, there are two clear components, the piece of paper and the can of, of, the, of the root beer. And so the, the force is most directly being applied to the piece of paper. But of course, as, as one system, as the, as the paper is moving, that force is also being applied to the can as well. But the principle of inertia suggests to us that nothing will happen until a force acts on it. And then what we will see in the demonstration is even as I act on the system, um, the can uh, remains unmoved. Let's see. All right, so we say three, two, one. Boom, check that out. The inertia of the can is sufficient so that the can doesn't even perceptibly move, and it certainly doesn't come off um, the, the table. What about my jar lids? Let's do the same experiment again, right? So I set up my system, piece of paper in the jar lids. Ready, three, two, one. So they move a little bit, right? They move a little bit, but it illustrates the point that the inertia of the jar lids is enough to keep it from moving. What about my box of tissue? Ready, three, two, one. Easy, easy peasy. This is a super cool uh, demonstration. The, the, the principles uh, of inertia is easy to illustrate and it gives kids a lot of confidence, right? It gives kids a lot of confidence that as they pull, everyone can do this. The, the only trick that I have to suggest here is as you're applying the force to the, um, to the piece of paper is, is encourage the kids to pull it towards the ground and pull it with a pretty good snap in their wrist. So the system is at rest, and then suddenly that force exists and it acts upon the system. It makes it work better, but with the, the, the mass of the soda can is enough that the inertia of the soda can is so that it, I don't think it will move um, at all. Uh, and, and neither do these things, although they move a little bit. Um, so this is a super fun experiment. If you um, are, are doing this in class and if you have time, if you have the option, this, this works really well with slow motion video. The kids love it, and it is a lot of a lot of fun. There are there are other ways that you can set up, um, other demonstrations you can make of, of inertia. Uh, Steve Spangler, uh, whose whose um, material is available online, has a really cool demonstration that I've seen him do. Um, other people, uh, I'm sure, have done it as well. It involves a, a, a glass of water, filled with water, a pie pan, a toilet paper holder, and a raw egg sitting on top. And in order to do the demonstration, you hit the pie pan from the side, knocking it loose, knocking the toilet paper holder loose. The egg remains emotionless just enough that it can fall and drop right into the water. Our kids love doing this demonstration. I've never seen kids who don't enjoy doing uh, this demonstration. In fact, uh, I think our youngest kid to do it successfully was our four-year-old uh, at, at the time. So um, everybody um, can do this because inertia works. The principle of inertia is very real uh, and it's easily uh, demonstrated. If you're going to do something with raw eggs or anything like that, of course, use your best judgment. I suggest outside activity is the name of the game, uh, just in case. Uh, but this is a fun demonstration um, and, and I know that, you, that your kids will like it. 
This is Cycle 2, Week 17 Science.